Hey, my lovies, part two of DIY flower power earrings. Let's get started. Hey, you guys, so we are gonna be finishing up part two of our flower power earrings. I know you can't see these because this is a black and white filter, but these are some paper earrings I made. So be sure to check out my full playlist of statement earring making jewelry. Statement earring making jewelry, yes. <laughs> right, that sounds like a little tongue twister. But anyway, I'm Garlinda Price. Thank you for all of you that watch my videos, that like, that subscribe, that comment. I try to try my best. I think I do comment to everyone because I comment right when I see it so that way I don't forget. So thank you for being fellow creatives with me here on this channel. Um, I can't wait for you to see how the black pair turned out. I haven't drilled the holes yet, but we're working on finishing up the white pair of flower power earrings today. Let's get started. Mm, God bless hey, you guys. guys. So listen, I had, um, I'm doing this video in between insurance appointments and insurance training. So those are the notes I took during our training call. And so I um, wanted to go ahead, and you all already know how I do this, but you already know we're gonna basically, oh, look how they dried. I always forget to say I'm Garlinda Price, and so welcome you guys. So look, I have to paint the backs. So we'll do that, but I wanna go ahead and make the front glossy first, but look how pretty the earrings turned out. It always, off, I'm, I can't even talk today, I need some coffee. It reminds me of um, like tapestry, like woven tapestry patterns. I think it came out really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these with you right quick in between my appointments. And we're also gonna get the white pair started. So super excited about that. And I'm just using the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. I haven't used the triple thick in a while, only because this was close at hand. And I think I shared with you that I like the fact that things don't stick together using the Dimensional Magic, which I tend to find that they do when you use the triple thick. So if you don't have your earrings on a um, like on a pegboard or some type of hanger where they're away from one another. Um, so anyway, the triple thick tends to react and I don't like that. So I'm sticking with the Dimensional Magic because it works for me. It gives that same beautiful glaze and shine. You can do two or three coats of it. It seems really forgiving. At least that's been my experience. Now, if it's not completely dry, um, you can't double layer. So just in case you're having problems with it or challenges with it, just be sure to let the coats dry completely before trying to add another coat because if not, you're probably gonna get like a clouded effect. Sorry for all the noise in the background. My ear exchange, I think the filters need to be changed. They're just so loud. Sorry about that. And so this and we're gonna go ahead and do this one as well. And I'm gonna hop on. I gotta do some underwriting for a couple of my insurance files I have that I'm writing. So if you find yourself in need of insurance, listen, we do whole life, we do term, we do accidental, we do children's policies. Um, for some things, you can have pre-existing conditions. It just means there's a waiting period depending on what those conditions are. Um, so I'm just so blessed. I've been able to help clients that, um, one client, she had an autistic daughter, you know, and for a lot of people, that can kick them out of getting a life insurance policy. Um, sometimes, but I was able to find a carrier that offered coverage, but the only um, challenge is, it's a challenge to me a little bit, depending on how functioning the child or the adult is, because they have to be able to ask the health-related interview questions. They have to be able to say their own name. Like in other words, there's a health interview and you can't help the autistic child or adult with that part of the interview. But it went so well, I was so excited. I was able to help another family with a husband um, because he had AFib and a pacemaker. He wasn't, um, he was uninsurable at so many different places that they reached out to, so we were able to get him covered. So super excited. So um, if you find yourself in need of policies, in need of insurance, and you just had a hard time getting approved in the past, give me a call, 910-494-7798. I'd love to help you and your family. Um, and then just children's policies, while those are important, and I'm just talking while we're um, waiting on those to dry and we're gonna be starting on our white earrings. Um, the reason why that's important is because not that we're expecting our children to pass away, this insurance is prepping them for the future, right? Because what, ends up ha what ended up happening with one of my fellow um, life insurance agents, I'm, well, brokers, I'm a broker, and he's a broker as well, but his son was perfectly healthy and fine, and then around seven years old, seven or 10, 
he ended up having a childhood illness and now he can't get the Gerber policy, right? So now he's uninsurable. So what would have happened is had they gotten it early, had they known about it early and gotten him the little five, those things start at $5, right? They go up to $20. So $5 a month, $20 a month um, to have coverage for your children, your grandchildren. Had he gotten that for his son when he was younger and had been thinking about it, his son would have had at least 5,000 up to a $50,000 policy as an adult, whereas now he's uninsurable, you know? So he was really disappointed about that and was just saying, you know, he wished he'd had someone telling him about the importance of life insurance on um, his children when they were younger. So that's why I'm telling you now, if you have grandkids, now is the time you wanna think about getting them that little Gerber policy or getting insurance on them because if they were to get sick or something were to happen and they become uninsurable as an adult, we could have at least had for them $5,000 to $50,000 in place um, so they would have coverage. So I'm just doing a little blue flower um, and making it up kind of as I go along. <laughs> I mean, I don't have my own. I don't have my, well, I have on some little paint pants that I wipe stuff on, so we'll just do that, I know. I'm not messing up clothes, but let's do a purple dot in the center here. And then we're doing, these are clothes that I paint in all the time, so no worries, I'm not messing up any good clothes. And I'm gonna run after we do this one little flower and I'll be back, but you probably won't notice that I left and came back because the video keeps going, right? <laughs> so I don't even know why I'm telling you that. So let's just, and I'm just using a little ball tool to put some dots in here super cutesy and remember yesterday we had the um the little thinner brush so i'm gonna go ahead early on and i'm gonna go ahead and load up the um, light green and the dark green and we're gonna do just some vines running out to the side so we make this one just a little bit different from the last one gonna be so pretty. Sorry for being quiet. I decided to do just a few more on these, but then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add like other flowers, other flowers to it. So I love the gradation of it. That's really pretty. So right now it's looking like a spider, but just you wait. It's gonna be so cute. Oh, and happy Monday super excited. It's 4th of July week. I got to get on this computer and find somewhere for my family and I to go. All I really care about is that we have great weather, great food, and a pool. Because look, y'all, I saw where there was an alligator in the ocean and a snake down at Sunset Beach here in North Carolina. First of all, what are they doing out there? That's number one. I mean, I know alligators can swim, but why are they in the ocean? That's number one. That's a thing, yeah, down in South Carolina and Georgia, y'all need to get it together, <laughs> right? But snakes can swim, and who knew there were snakes in the ocean? What do they want? So anyway, I'm gonna go and get some orange paint too. I have some over there off to the side because I think I want like an orange and yellow kind of bright design over in this section for the white flowers. But this is how they're looking Eek. so far. I know they look like little green and blue spiders, but wait until we keep going. So I'm gonna put the paint up right quick. I'll be right back. When I get back, we'll start adding some orange um, pops of flower colors or floral colors to these. And I hope you all are having an incredible Monday. Love you, be right back. Okay, you guys. So I had time to go ahead and put like a little starburst flower on there. And so what we're gonna do is I used to do nails a long time ago, right? And so I don't know if you all remember or not, but when you did nails, you could take the little dotting tool on the fingernails. And then what we would do is we would make dots, you know, going across the nail that would grade out in size. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do on the earring design. So I'm gonna make it where the dots are coming from the flower over into like a gradient, like in terms of size, they're grading downward. And then I'm gonna hold it up. So when you don't even have to reload the paint, and so we're just gonna be putting dots over here in different sizes going down. I love this. That one needed a little bit more paint, hold on. Okay. So 
So look. Look how pretty that is. So now what we're gonna do is somewhere in the center there of the orange, once it dries a little bit, we're gonna put um, some bursts of colors as well. So let's do this one right quick. I'm just trying to make sure I match it up to the other one as well. So I'm, I'm not really counting the dots, but I'm trying to count the dots <laughs> to keep up with them, right? To make sure we don't have more than what's on the other one. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. So that's coming out really, really pretty. So we're gonna let those dry because then I wanna put dots in the center and I also wanna do another flower like right over in there. And I think I wanna layer the flowers like where, cause look, I noticed that the flowers are a little off in size on these two. So like this flower is more centered and this particular flower is a little bit more off to the left. So I'm gonna go and make sure after they dry, we're gonna add another flower right in here and one over in there so that they match up perfectly. So I'm gonna do that right quick. So what I might do is go ahead and add a few more blue dots over here. So it's in alignment. And then what I'll do is I'll take this one out to the side a little bit over here where it's different. And then that way, as they're drying, they're drying closer to each other in terms of what, in terms of what they look like. And then we'll be right back. But I think they're coming out really beautiful in terms of a floral design. So pretty, the black ones are over there drying in perfection. We'll be right back. Hey you guys, so finally. Okay, so before Jesus comes back, we want to finish these earrings, right? So look how beautiful the black pair came out. They remind me of like a really pretty embroidery or like, um, I don't know, like an old timey, like really pretty um, embroidered quilt or pillow from back in the day. So I think they came out really pretty. Just painted the backs black and just went on and finished them up so you could see them before we finish up the white pair. So I think they came out incredible. So again, I used the triple thick to gloss them up. I used my Dremel drill, which is the cordless Dremel. And I'll hold it up so you can take a screenshot of like the serial details, etc. Love this drill. Don't know how I ever got along without it. So now let's go ahead and get the white ones finished. And so what I decided I wanted to do was put some red over in here. And I'm really not, again, I'm just making up my own kind of flower. So I'm just gonna do like um, just some round, I mean like upside down smiley faces in the center of the flower. And then we're just gonna highlight it and accent it with some pink. I'm really just creating my own free flowing, free form design. It's storming outside. So I was trying to get some work done. But I was like, let me just get on here and finish the earrings since the internet won't let me be great. So. I'm just putting this down and then we're gonna use some of our light pink just to do like an accent or so in the center. This pink is called light pink, that's funny. And then we're just gonna do some dots on the inside center. And then <clears throat> because of we're just making flowers and designs. You can just layer these, okay? So I just have like a little paint plate off to the side and I'm just adding some yellow to give it some highlights because the, um, what am I trying to say? The Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, it really gives it a pop. I love that it pops the color once you put it on there and um, it dries really quickly. I mean, it dries within a couple of hours, unlike the, um, what was the other stuff we used to use? The triple thick that takes to me for, you know, overnight. I, it is my favorite still, not gonna lie. 
but it just takes longer to dry. So now I'm just adding some dots and basically making this look like a fire type of flower. No, that's not a real flower. So I know anybody that is a expert in foliage and flowers is gonna be like, really Garlinda? So no, it's a flower made up. <laughs> like the kind you'd see in Whoville, that type of flower, right? So I just wanted to make like a really bright, it almost looks like a sunflower to me, like a sunflower with sunburst. And I still wanna put something like over here. So we're gonna figure that out in a second. It's probably gonna be like a hot pink type of thing. So I think I'm gonna use my fuchsia paint. So we'll go ahead and get that shaken up. And we'll put something pink out to the side with a darker shade of blue. And I wish I really honestly did know how to make really great flowers similar to Bob Ross, but guess what? I'm girl in the price. I'm not a Bob Ross, but we can be great in our own right and do us. That's what we're going to do. So now we have to decide like what additional color dots we want to put up here because I really want, again, the color to pop up here. So I have tons of paint colors on the table, but I always tend to use the same blue. So I'm trying to be different and get away from that. But I love this, I just love this blue. It is my favorite. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some blue and some red. That's what we'll do. So that way it'll really pop and, oops, got too much out. So it'll pop and it'll stand out. And so we'll just do a few of the ocean breeze blue dots and then we'll add some red dots in there as well. Do a few right alongside. And you really don't even have to reload, you know, your little dotting tool unless you just want to. So we're gonna do one over there, one, two. Do my best to match them up. Sometimes it's possible, sometimes it's not. But you just do your best, because guess what? They're swinging on different sides of the ear, so it's not like anybody's gonna be standing beside you counting your dots right <laughs> and if they are run there's something wrong with them <laughs> so that looks really pretty so that's how that came out so now after those dots dry I'm gonna do some of the green foliage and the green lines up there to match these so what I want to do for now is the flower that we're gonna put over here I'm not exactly sure what I want that flower to look like so we did a ball type design in here and so the flower that we're gonna use is gonna be like a hot pink. So let's go ahead and put a hot pink center right in there. And what we could do is go ahead and um, not match it up, but make the colors similar. Let's do that. And then we could do the center of the flower like any color that we want. So what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm probably gonna do like a darker blue center and add some of that yellow just to give it like a pop of color. And I still have pink on the little ball. Y'all already know, unless you're new to my channel, I got these ball tools from Michaels. Um, I had a 25% off coupon that they had sent me. And no, I think I signed up for emails or something like that. And when I got the 25% off email, I um, partnered it or paired it with a 20% off coupon. And from there, I ended up, let's put some green paint out. I ended up using the 25% mixed with 20%. And I think I ended up paying like $8 for four tools, four polymer clay tools. So we're gonna go ahead and do our green line. And this is supposed to look like leaves or vines coming from the flower. And so remember what we did on the last one, we ended up adding like some of the bright green foliage from it so that, I'm sorry, some of the bright green paint so that it had like this, um, I don't wanna call it, almost like a gradiated effect. So we're literally just drawing lines. We're not overthinking it or anything at all because this is just an abstract floral design. 
And so that's what it looks like. And so I may, I know you may look at it and be like, that looks like nobody's flowers, right? But they look like flowers in my mind. And I guess I must be like Dr. Seuss. You know how he saw stuff <laughs> that other people didn't see, right? I mean, because who would have thought about Whoville and the trees over on the Lorax? I thought it was the cutest movie. I love the soundtrack. I mean, the cat in the hat. Who would have thought a bad cat coming in, making kids cut up and get in trouble on a rainy day? So I'm using my imagination. I think they're gonna be beautiful. I love how the black pair turned out. And the thing is, people that love abstract art, abstract jewelry design, they're gonna love your earrings. I've been like, I think I was telling you, I've been watching a lot of um, paint pouring techniques and paint pouring design. And I really, really, really am gonna try that. Just gotta get some canvases um, when I get a chance to go to the store. And I think too often we judge our own work or we compare it to what other people's work looks like. And then we think, oh, it doesn't look good. But we're marching to the beat of our own drum, right? So does it really matter what somebody else's look like or what they think yours should look like? Nope, you do you. So I'm just putting the dot back in the pink and back in the yellow because we're making um, flowers down here to attach to um, the blue flower that's down here. I didn't wipe the ball off, but it looks like it's not picking up my paint, so I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit right quick. So, I'm using the same little plate it stuck to the Ziploc bag, because the paint on the opposite side was wet. I just flipped it over so I could get use out of it. For some reason, it's not wanting to pick my pink paint up. There we go. I'm like, if you don't get hold of this pink paint, come on here. It's so pretty. And I think I want to do something in there inside the blue. So since we already have the yellow and the green out, why don't we mix that a little bit and do something right in there. You could just do an entire polka dot, polka dot pair. I think I'm tired, y'all forgive me. So a polka dot pair would be super, super cute, but you gotta be really patient about matching up your dots if you want it to be asymmetrical. So super cute. So I'm gonna add one more dot down beneath there. I'm trying to decide what color it should be um, right in here beneath there. So let's see, cause I don't wanna add any more blue. Hmm, well let's do some purple. Since we have some purple paint, we haven't really used it. So let's put a dot right there. Dot right here. Ooh, that's pretty. So we could even make it look almost like a grapevine, sort of. I forget what that, what that flower is called. But it goes through, you know, with dots looking like that. And they hang down and they um, have, they hang from... Um, Oh, wisteria, right? So that's what I was trying to say. So something like that, that's cute. So let's turn it around so you can see it. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more too of purple inside the center of the blue flower, just so it stands out. And we'll add a little bit more of the pink around it too and make it pop. And I'm thinking I wanna take the little dotting tool and you know how we did the teddy bear eyes and how we did, if you haven't seen my teddy bear earring video, you've gotta go look at it, it's the cutest thing ever. I'll, I'll pass by them every day looking at them where I have my stuff sitting and I'm like, oh, I seriously wanna make another pair of teddy earrings. So I'm thinking that inside here, we could add like some white dots just to give it some oomph. But in here, let's add a little bit more of our pink paint and so I'm just going to use the brush to place it like right in here right in there like that and the reason I wanted to do that is because I felt like it wasn't showing up enough and I really wanted to pop when I take it out I mean when I go to put the ma dimensional magic on there but also down in here I think I might want to take since I have so much blue paint out here I want to take the blue flower around a little bit more. Oh my gosh, you guys, I spent hours today looking for a vacation location. I'm not gonna find anything, I don't think. Well, I was able to find something in Augusta, Georgia, but I don't know that there's anything to do in Augusta, Georgia besides golf, and I don't golf, but it was a gorgeous home. Then I found something in Florida. I don't feel like driving that far, and my husband, I know, doesn't feel like driving that far. Ooh, y'all, can y'all hear the thunder outside? So I'ma hurry up and get this done, cause in the south, we don't play around, right, with storms. Ooh, and I love sleeping during the rainstorm. How about you? Oh my gosh, it is the best sleep in the whole world is rain, thunderstorm sleep. 
that's a whole bunch of cracking and lightning and slight lightning get yourself together we're trying to sleep over here buddy so oh my gosh look how pretty this is so it's all drying i think that is so pretty i feel like my hand is blocking it a little bit so Think it's really pretty so again i'm just making flowers and patterns i see in my head i am gonna go ahead and um add a few cream colored dots down here in the bottom and then what we'll do is we'll give this time to dry overnight and we'll come back i really wanted to finish it tonight but i think by the time it dries i may already be asleep but i'm just putting some little color the light colored cream using that dotting tool and putting it inside of um, each of these on the bottom. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I may just add some little white dots all the way around. So let's just add a few up in here. Just so it kind of goes together, all blends together. Give some uniformity to it. Not that you have to, just saying. So anyway, I looked all up along North Carolina, even in the mountains, North Carolina coast, South Carolina coast, Georgia coast, Virginia coast, because I was about as far as I was willing to go. I was desperate enough to look over in Maryland, but I'm like, I'm not driving to Maryland. So I didn't find anything. I was so disappointed, but I shouldn't have waited so long. I mean, prior planning prevents poor performance. That's a military term I heard, right? So let's do another green line coming down right here because I feel like there's too much white space right there. So let's fill that in. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some of our green down beside it, some of our lime green. That's not the color. The color is actually called citron green. So love it. So we put our citron down there. You guys, this color is so pretty. So I'm gonna turn it around and you can see it. I'm gonna go wash off the tools. Make sure I didn't forget any dots anywhere. Look how pretty these are. So I'm gonna hold them up and then we'll go get our tools washed. Look how pretty. I think they're beautiful. So I'll turn the camera around and take a shot so you can see it. And so we're gonna let them dry. And then, oh, I've already painted the backs orange. So before we came back, I went on and painted the back orange. So once they dry and we put the triple thick on them, they'll be good to go. And then we wouldn't have to wait for that to dry and come back and show you what we're doing. So let me go wash off the implements. And while those are drying, we will be right back. Okay, you guys. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to actually go ahead and I was gonna drill the holes, but I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the process a little bit. Now, mind you, the paint is probably still dry. Hold on. I wanted to get you just a little closer to the action. That's what I should have done before. Sorry about that. One of you all were probably yelling at the screen, suggest, screen suggesting that, and I didn't hear it. So let me see. I have one little spot right there. I don't know, there's a purple spot or something right there. So I'm gonna go ahead ahead of schedule and put the triple, not the triple thick, the Dimensional Magic Mod Podge. I think I need a little bit more. So mind you, I'm gonna do my best to try not to scrape the earring. I'm just trying to rush the process actually because I want to go ahead and get the video finished. So the paint is still wet. I don't advise this. Don't try this at home, kids. Because technically, if I drag it, it's gonna make the paint run, but I think the paint is dry enough that if I just move the dimensional magic gently with the um, the nozzle, that it'll be okay. I think because I don't have plans for the weekend, I'm gonna go to the craft store, see what I can hunt down that I don't need, right? <laughs> Cause I'm definitely saving money on not going on vacation. So I think what I'm gonna do is hold this up so it can run down just a little bit so that way it doesn't get too thick. So that just ran down perfectly to the bottom. And then I just want to make sure the edges up there are still covered well. So I'm just pouring it on here and letting the nozzle spread a little bit. You want to make sure that your edges have enough coverage. 
and then I'm gonna squeeze a little bit right there in the middle and I'm gonna hold it up so it runs down one more time. And then when it got to the end, I just held it back up. Y'all think these are gonna be so incredibly beautiful. They remind me of the black ones, but just remind me of a white tapestry. I think they are so gorgeous. So I'm gonna turn the camera around after we get finished. So I'm just putting it all around cause we're gonna hold it up anyway. But please, when you seriously, when you get ready to do this, make sure your paint is almost completely dry. I have these over by the vent. So by them being over by the vent, they were, for the most part, dry. I could just tell some of the raised areas, like the white dots I had just done, like they were probably still a little bit damp or wet. But everything else was dry for the most part. So now I'm just spreading it around. I'm not squeezing any additional product down. I'm just using the nozzle to spread it around. I'm definitely tired today. I'm tripping all over my words. But I had a great day. I had a long day, but I have a great day. So we had a long week. We rented out a trailer that we purchased. And um, we had to go over there the last two nights to do some work to it. My husband was doing the work. I was just keeping him company. And um, so let's turn these around. But you guys, I think these are going to be so, just so beautiful. So because I want to finish them, I want, this, I want to finish the video, so I'm going to sit them off to the side to dry right quick. And I'm going to switch the paper out so it'll be right back. But I'm probably going to sit the earring hooks up by the earring so you can see like what they'll look like once they dry. But I want to go ahead and finish it up so we can do our next video because technically it's only going to take a little while for that to dry. You guys, so thank you so much for joining me for this video. I'm going to let the white pair dry off screen, but I took took a really gorgeous photo that you're going to see coming up next. So you can see what they look like, but they are so incredible. I mean, literally they look like tapestries. They look like works of art. Let me turn that Definitely camera. like beautiful flowers from someone's garden. And so look, I love them. So as soon as this pair dries, we're going to add the jump rings to them. But these are our flower power earrings. I think they came out so incredible. And just imagine, I mean, just some dots and brush strokes. You can make an entire collection of these. You could do post earrings. You could do hanging. You could do dangles, clip-ons. You get to decide. But I think they're beautiful. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. See you for the next one.